platforms in the North Sea. It comes after the company had managed to stem the flow from the original spill. 300 barrels of oil have escaped over the past week. Our Scotland correspondent James Cook has the details. More than 100 miles out in the North Sea, ribbons of oil are streaking the surface. From the air, a small slick appears to be breaking up. On the seabed, these pictures shot on Sunday show bubbles of oil rising from a grating. This is at the heart of the problem, Gannet Alpha. The shell platform has been drilling for two decades. From the surface, a pipeline drops 310 feet to the seabed. It then snakes along for seven miles and funnels oil back to the surface. The leak is a short distance from the wellhead. Shell says 1,300 barrels of oil have escaped. It took us um, until Friday to gain access to where the leak uh, is occurring. We depressurized that line, which caused substantial uh, reduction in the spill. Uh, and, and now we have a very minor uh, or relatively minor leak. Minor, but still the worst for a decade. Here in Europe's oil capital, though, there's no panic. Since the 70s, this harbour has bustled with ships and Aberdeen has grown rich on oil. But the latest finds are deeper and trickier to extract. So does that mean there will be more spills? The um, uh, cost risks are very high, the environmental effects of anything going wrong are very, very high, but the technology has advanced all the time and will continue to advance. Compared to this, the Gulf of Mexico disaster, the latest leak is tiny and experts do not anticipate scenes like these being repeated in Scotland. The most vulnerable uh, are seabirds, there's no doubt about that at all. Oil gets into their feathers, uh, it, they, they lose insulation as a result of that, uh, they lose the waterproofing of the feathers and, and it's, it's bad news for, for seabirds. But the area of the slick is very small, uh, so the chances of many seabirds being affected is, is, is small. So there is plenty of black gold at the end of this rainbow, but getting it out is a dirty business. James Cook, BBC News, Aberdeen. London's Olympic Park has seen its first competitive